been making bread for about six months or so so I'm still learning a lot and what I've been doing is using these pans this is a USA pan I believe it's 11 inches it's a nice size it makes a, a decent loaf and I ended up all the material together is like roughly a thousand grams so it's been working out great you get a big loaf sometimes we don't use it all because it's a lo such a large loaf it's just my wife and I end up leaving like 20% of it so I hate that because I just put in all this work and then we don't end up using it and I'm, I'm not gonna stuff myself with bread all the time I do make a sandwich or a sandwich grilled cheese toast things like that but I mean you can only eat so much bread I'm trying not to eat too too much of it so <clears throat> we got uh, I got married and then I got a bunch of gift cards so one of those like my wife was looking through stuff and she was like oh there's a bread pan Would you, maybe you'd want a bread pan and it was the one that I looked at on Amazon a while back and I really liked it because it has a lid this lid and it's all ceramic so this allows me to just put the bread in it's still dirty <laughs> I realized it was uh, I need to that's the other thing this is that other like the USA pan you gotta hand wash it <clears throat> it's fine just you know I just gotta remember to do it I usually do it like the, the day before I make the bread because I'm like oh I need to make I need to wash it again dishwasher safe it's ceramic it's pretty solid um, it's got a lid so that way I proof it by putting the lid on and it's got little holes for uh, steam I think as far as just overall usage I've only used it twice the first time I used it I put flour in like I do with the other pan and it's stuck all on one side and ended up having to rip out the bread because it some of it didn't stick but the, uh, enough of it stuck that it was a problem so I ended up having to just cut a hole in the bread and put my hand in and figure out okay it's stuck on this side and just pull it out and <clears throat> it's bread so I just put it in water and it just saw it got soft and you just scrub it all out <clears throat> the next time I used uh, a neutral oil as a vegetable oil as a spray and I sprayed it I didn't overkill it but I did make sure it was covered from the top to the bottom and I, then I put a layer of flour in, a nice thick layer of flour. Not a, I know, terribly thick, but thick enough. A thick layer of flour, and it doesn't stick. So I modified my recipe. I was using, like I said, almost a thousand grams of material, something like that. Now I'm like around 700 grams. It fills it up to about, <clears throat> about here, and then it proofs almost to the top. And then the first time I, like I said, the first time I cooked it, it actually lifted the top a little bit because it was more. So now I've modified my recipe. And so far, this thing is good. You'll be seeing it in all the bread videos from now on. I don't know how many more bread videos I'll make, but there's a few. It's the holidays coming up, so probably a few more. This thing, it's a really good size for like two people because now I have a smaller loaf of bread that it will we'll probably be able to get through each week and I think we'll be okay as far as just overall usage this thing is pretty rock solid I mean I had to get my knife in there to really just my bread knife to try to cut out the piece of bread to, and then try to cut a hole in the bread to get the bread out this is a whole ordeal but this as long as I keep it clean and then when I actually cook with it keep it properly lubricated to get the bread out it's designed for bread it works really well this thing uh, so far seems great uh, it's one of those things where I finally learned how to make the bread in a way that works really well and then I just changed it completely so now I have to relearn how to do it which is, isn't that big of a deal it's a smaller learning curve because I already have somewhat of a clue Emile, Emile, E, what is it called? It's French. So E M I L E H E N R Y. So Emile, 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 Emile. And I, French, it's Henri. You don't pronounce the H for whatever, some reason. I don't know French, obviously. So this is the 
24 centimeter by nine. Oh yeah, it's 9.4 inches. It's slightly smaller than the other one, but it's designed specifically for this, just like what the other pen is, but this allows you to have the top. My, the thorn in my side was trying to do an aluminum tent on the, on the, uh, on the pan. I could never get it to work exactly the way I wanted it to. This takes all that guesswork out. This is like the medium between a bread pan and a Dutch oven. So I think this is great. But like I said, more to come hopefully with this. And if I figure out any real way to use it, I'll make a separate video for that. But so far, so good-ish. But the problem was me, not the pan, just for the record.